The carpenter I hired to help me restore an old farmhouse had just finished a rough first day on the job. A flat tire made him lose an hour of work. His electric saw quit, and now his ancient pickup truck refused to start. While I drove him home, he sat in stony silence. On arriving, he invited me in to meet his family. As we walked toward the front door, he paused briefly at a small tree, touching the tips of the branches with both hands. Upon opening the door, he underwent an amazing transformation. His tanned face was wrathed in smiles, and he hugged his two small children and gave his wife a kiss. Afterward, he walked me to the car. We passed the tree, and my curiosity got the better of me. So I asked him about what I had seen him do earlier. Oh, that's my troubled tree, he replied. I know I can't help having troubles on the job, but one thing for sure. Troubles don't belong in the house with my wife and children. So I just hang them up on the tree every night when I come home. Then in the morning I pick them up again. Funny thing is, he smiled when I come out in the morning to pick them up. There aren't nearly as many as I remember hanging up the night before. You see, in life, in your life, touch a troubled tree before you go home and leave your troubles and worries outside of your house, outside of your apartment, outside of your room. At the same time, keep a troubled tree before you go to work and pick your troubles up again after work. Keep your house clean. Keep your mind clean. Stay sharp, stay strong.